Today I'll be going over VAP Quiz 3 review. Joss and Johnny decide to have a competition to see who can save up the most money. Josh has $42 to start with and he thinks he can save $7 per week. Johnny has $20 and can save $10 per week. Make a table that shows the amount of money each boy will have over the next 10 weeks if they stick to their plan. For this I'm going to use some scratch paper since it won't fit on here. And I'm going to make a table. It's going to have three layers. This top layer is going to be weeks. This is going to be Johnny. And this is going to be Josh. So if we look at the very beginning before we start, it says that Josh has $42 and Johnny has $20. So now I'm going to have to separate each of these into the weeks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, so now I have all my 10 weeks. It says that Johnny starts with $20 and he can save $10 per week. So at week one, after week one, he'll have $30, then he'll have 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, and 120 dollars. For Josh, it says he started with 42 and he can save seven dollars per week. So after week one, he'll have $49 because he saved seven more. If he saves seven more, he'll be at 56, and then 63, 70, 77, 84, 91, 98, 105, and 112. All right, so we have our table. Um, B, write an equation that represents the relationship between the amount of money each boy has for any number of weeks. So Josh, his money would equal $42 plus $7 for each week. If I multiply 7 times the number of the week, that'll give me the amount that I'm going to add on to 42. So that gives me my total for money. Johnny? His money will equal $20 plus $10 per week. I multiply the number of weeks times 10 and add that to 20 and it'll give me the amount of money that he has saved. Graph each, equa graph each equation. Use a different color to graph the data for each boy. Okay, so we have down here we would have weeks. Over here we would have money. We'd have to give it a title, our savings maybe. So then we have week one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We could label that zero. And on this side we have money. If we look at money, we gotta be able to go from zero all the way up to 120. So if I do by tens, I might have enough space. Let's check. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. I don't have enough room. So I'm going to go by 15. And I'll do one extra just to do it. All right, so now I need to pick a color for each boy. And I'm gonna make my key or legend. Up here I'll have red is Johnny. And I will do purple is Josh. All right, so I'll start with Johnny. At week zero, if I look at my thing, Johnny has $20, so I'll go up to 20 and put a dot. At week one, Johnny has 30. At week two, he has 40. At week three, he has 50. At week four, he has 60. At week five, he has 70. At week six, he has 80. At week seven, he has 90. 
Week 8, he has 100. Week 9, he has 110. Week 10, he has 120. All right, so that's Johnny's savings. Josh, at week zero, had 42. Then he had 49. Then 56. It's kind of hard on these little graphs. Then 63. Then 70. 77, 84, 91, 98, 105, 112. And so this is it's hard to be exact on these little tiny graphs, but you get the idea here. It says, um, will the boys ever have the same amount of money at the same time? Explain your reasoning. Well, my answer would be yes, because they clearly overlap at some point here. At this point, let's not use red since it's already used. Where they overlap, where, where the purple starts to go below the red, where they hit, they'll have the exact same amount of money. Um, express each relationship as an equation. Explain what information each letter and number represents. Each day my cat eats two mice. So I'm going to say that the number of mice eaten, it's, let's call it E. Okay, and or you could call it M for mice, whatever you want to call it. And then you could say each day, so we need to represent day equals D. So you would end up with the number of mice eaten, E, equals 2 times D. 2 times 2 mice every day. So if you multiply how many days times 2, that would give you E, the number of mice eaten. Next one says lunch costs three seventy-five at school. Each day I buy lunch, 375 comes off of my school account. All right, so my account balance B. Um, and then we would need to save the number of days is D. So my balance equals, sorry. whatever my balance is, minus $3.75 times however many days I buy that would equal my new balance. And you could say that over here, new balance. Could be N maybe. So whatever's on my card, minus $3.75 times however many days I buy it, you multiply these, would give you in your new balance. Nora wrote an equation, T equals 4D. Describe a situation that this equation could represent. Well, there's tons and tons of representations that this could represent. You could say that, um, we could separate this out as T equals four times D if you need to look at it this way, and say, well, they're taking something and they're multiplying it by four and it's giving you T. So you could say that for every, so you could say that D stands for donuts, and, or days, sorry. And T equals the total number of donuts eaten. So you could say that Nora is eating four donuts every day and you want to know how many donuts she's eaten in all for any scenario. So it would still be true that maybe she's eating four donuts per day and so if you wanted to figure out how many she ate in 10 days you would put a 10 here and you get four times 10 is 40. So 
So this would be a scenario where this would hold true, that t equals 4 times t. I hope this was helpful. See me with any questions before the quiz.